Now, I want to start this video off right away by saying I am a Bengals fan. I do like the Bengals. Obviously, I do not like the Cleveland Browns. But I never want to see a player injured. And now with him being out for the season, I do hope he has a full recovery. I don't like him as a person, personally, but as a player, and I know what he means for the Cleveland Browns organization, I hope he has a full recovery and he's okay. I'm putting, you know, setting aside my, I don't like him as a person for the actions that he did in Houston. Um, but yeah, so just a little side note there. I saw this video off. This is not a hate video toward the Sean Watson. It's not a hate video versus the Cleveland Browns. This is just me reacting to what happened. So you guys did not see the Sean Watson did suffer a season ending injury and he is officially done for the season. He's on IR and we'll see how, you know, what happens next season because he will be on, I think, the final year of his contract, I believe. And it will be the most expensive part of his contract because they put a lot of the money from this season into next season. So now they're not going to have a quarterback, really, because they tread away Joshua Dobbs. Obviously, now they will go back to, not DTR, most likely, their rookie. But they're going to go to the guy they had before that, which was P.J. Walker. And they're going to be probably okay, right? Their defense is good enough to carry them through a couple wins for the rest of the season. It definitely is going to be a downgrade. But if we're being honest, Deshaun wasn't really playing that amazingly great anyway. I mean, you go to the Ravens game. He just played. They obviously won it. But it really was won by their defense. One touchdown, 213 yards, one interception. Uh, Arizona game, they won 27 and nothing. He did have a good game. Um, obviously, week through um, against what's that, the Colts game before that, he didn't really play. Well, he didn't play at all actually. When he, I think he played one snap maybe on one drive, and then of course he didn't play before that until the Tennessee, Pittsburgh, and Cincy game. And a lot of the reason why was because he did go down with injury. He did miss some time. So it's really not much of a change, I feel like, for Cleveland here. They're going right back to P.J. Walker. There's some Browns fans I have heard myself personally uh, tell me that if they had Joshua Dobbs still, they would have rather go with him anyway. Even when Deshaun came back healthy, they'd rather go with Joshua Dobbs over Deshaun Watson. And I know some Browns fans probably rather kept going with P.J. Walker over Deshaun Watson. So, it's one of those things where it's like, you look at it, and again, you never wish injury on any player, but it's almost to a point where I don't know if this is that detrimental to their team. If you look at Cleveland Browns roster right now and how they're winning, it's really their defense. Their defense is one of the best defenses in the NFL, if not the best defense. They are literally suffocating opponents. Their defense is getting turnovers, getting sacks, getting after the quarterback, and making the other quarterback's day a living heck. And that's really what they're going to continue to do. While, you know, P.J. Walker is not the best, you got to keep in mind, P.J. Walker won. He came in, he won, and if it wasn't for the fact that DTR really stunk up the show versus the Ravens in Week 3, they could have they could have one more win on this season. So, and right now, what are they, 6-3? and three? So, yeah, they're, they're going to be plenty fine without Deshaun Watson. If anything, this could just be, you know, what they're going to kind of look toward with the future of how this organization is going to go because next year, like I said before, he's costing them $75 million against the cap, and it's just not going to look good. It's I mean, not look good, meaning like their roster. They're going to have to dismantle their roster. And they're going to have to lose a lot of pieces and start an ultimate rebuild because they're going to be negative $50 million against the cap. Now, taking a look at this, moving forward, for example, they play Pittsburgh, right? And again, they're not going to have Deshaun. They're going to have probably P.J. Walker. I think their defense can suffocate that Matt Canada's offense enough to shut them down. That's going to be oh, interesting. The real problem is going to be the Browns offense beating that Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Because, yeah, the AFC North has the best defenses in the league. I know last week the Bengals didn't do too good against the Texans. But for the most part, other than that Texans game, the Bengals defense has been destroying people. The Steelers defense has been destroying people. The Ravens defense has. The um, Obviously, the Browns defense has. So, they can win that game. They can beat the Broncos. So, that's two wins right there. I think their defense alone could beat the Rams. Jaguars might be a problem, but Jacksonville turns the ball over like every other play, it seems like, at this point. So, now we're at a point with their defense where, with Jacksonville being so turnover-happy, Trevor Lawrence is, 
I think the Browns could win that game based on their defense alone. Now, if the Jags play a good game there and they don't turn the ball over every single play and they kind of get it going that way, I think that if the Browns get down by any amount of points, I think that they could probably going to lose the game. Um, but as long as they don't, you know, I think they should be fine. And, you know, I say that, but then look what they did to the Ravens last week. The Ravens destroyed them, and they came back in that game. Defense had a pick six, and they came back and they won with a game-winning field goal. So... I don't think this is like a downgrade. I, I hate to say that because, again, I never want to see a player injured. And I don't want to see him injured. I want to stress that enough. But even when you look at it, it's like, wow. They, their defense is that good that they can win games without any offense. Uh, Bears game, come on now. I mean, this schedule moving forward, really, if you look at it, this is their defense is going to win this game. Their defense is going to win this game, win this game, win this game, and potentially probably win this game. And then this game is the only questionable. These three are the only questionable games. But even then, if they win one, two, three, four, five games, they're 11 wins. That That's a playoff team. These other games don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. If they're just focused on getting to the playoffs, which they are, they're not, they realize they're probably not going to win a division. Not with Baltimore being Baltimore, unless we beat them uh, tomorrow, then potentially things could get interesting. But with that being said, you know, and if they do take care of us, which they have done in the past, not as recently in Cincy. I mean, they beat us last year one time. We beat them one time, but we beat them last year in Cincy. So that's going to be a tough one to come to the jungle and play us. But even then, I mean, could the Browns beat us? Absolutely. They could still finish the season off with how easy the schedule is based on just their defense winning these games, which is crazy to say. Now, Broncos, they have been a very much of a hidden gem beating the Chiefs and beating the Bills. Thank you, Broncos. Appreciate you, Brandon Perna. That hopefully ends up turning around and they could maybe lose that game. I don't think they're going to be the Texans. CJ Stroud is so good. I think he'll probably pick apart that Browns defense. Um, again, if Jacksonville can avoid turning the ball over, this could be three losses. Steelers could play Pittsburgh, typical Pittsburgh Steelers uh, game. Keep in mind, last time they played in week two, that game really was decided by the fact that the Steelers defense scored 14 points in that game. They scored 14 points on their defense alone to win that game. So they could lose that game. So technically speaking, they could get four losses here. But then again, I just don't see how they lose these other games. I don't. And even then, I mean, if they get four wins, that's 10 wins. That's pretty much playoffs, right? I mean, again, they could always lose to the Jets. But that's only if Aaron Rodgers is back. I don't think they're going to lose to Zach Wilson. Um, the Rams, they could be sneaky good. They sometimes get a little crazy. Um, yeah, no, Broncos potentially, yeah. But again, I think they're going to beat the Jags with how the Jags are looking. So, shout out to the Browns that even though you lose your quarterback for the season and your running back for the season, Nick Chubb, which again, truly, 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 bottom of my heart here, I hope Nick Chubb has, Nick Chubb has a full recovery. I love him as a person and a player. He's a great person. He's a great player. There's nothing not to love about that man. So, I hope he is fully recovered and all good. But... Yeah, so with that being said, though, you know, they might be fine. And it's crazy to say that because you never say that when a team loses the quarterback for the year. When the Vikings lost their quarterback for the year, other than the potential they bought in, Josh, obviously, Joshua Dobbs, it was almost like, all right, well, season's over. Season's over. And that's pretty much how it always is. Aaron Rodgers goes down to the Packers for years. You know, season's over. I, I think really Browns fans at this point, uh, and this is coming from Bengals fan. You guys should be like, okay, whatever, it happens. Like, it's not really that big of a loss. And again, a lot of it is the fact he did not play his whole year so far. Well, he hasn't played much this year so far. He's been hurt. But still, like, I don't think he's really going to elevate your game that much. It's going to change anything. P.J. Walker could probably get the job done most of these games. And if you you get to the playoffs, that's when things get a little shaky. But I don't think you guys are going to win a playoff game. But I think you guys can get to the playoffs, especially with how this roster looks. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.